I'm Justice Dunn, and today I'm playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, maybe just some. Uh, Jeez. Graphic. Sure, I agree. Ba -ba -ba. Ooh, easily disturbed. Are you guys ready to play? Just probably go to settings. Use volume. Sound down, text speed, that's okay. Display, no. Missing text. Okay, new game. My name? Justice. Done. Hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's fully oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl, Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long? We used to walk to school together in days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waking, waiting up. But if she's going to chase me after this, me like this, I better feel, almost feel better off running away. Whatever I just saw, an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha ha! <coughs> I overslept again! Ah, uh, music's still a little bit too loud. Okay. Return. I overslept again! I caught you this time! <laughs> Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Hey, you said it like you were thinking about ignoring me. <coughs> That's mean, Justice Dunn. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. Because you'll have to in you to be mean even if you want to. <coughs> Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> mm -hmm. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily comment. By the way, Justice Dunn, have you decided that club's joined yet? This is hard to do. A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. So they already likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Wow, this is me. And TV. Uh-huh. I was taking my time worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Happiness is very important to me, you know? I know you're happy now, but I'll die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Trust me, right? It won't make me keep worrying about you. Alright. No, wait, it's mine. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. But at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I promise you that. Yay! Why do I, keep le Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Huh. Okay, I can't do this. The school day is as old as ever, and it's over before I know it. To pack up my things, I sit blinking at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. So I want me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start off the anime club. Hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come to the classroom while I was facing out. Look around, I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Ask your even worse than me sometimes, I'm impressed. 
You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. I thought you might need some encouragement like that, you know. You know what? You could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. <laughs> so we're the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure that she only did it because she thought it would be fun to start, start a new club. She was the first one showing me interest after the one who proposed the club. She inherited the title, Vice President. Vice President! That's how my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyways? Well, I can't tell the club yesterday I bring in a new member. Natsuki, Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> How many promises you can't keep? Can't tell if there's really that much of an airhead or she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. Oh, long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. I'm gonna have to voice a new character soon. Last day most of the day, I sold my soul for a cupcake. Yeah, I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I really visited. Being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, sw swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? Yeah? Glance around the room. <laughs> Welcome to the Literature Club! It's a pleasure meeting you! Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Okay, how am I gonna- Ah, oh, just is done! What a nice surprise! Ugh. <sighs> Welcome to the club! This is gonna be hard for me. <laughs> oh, we're escaping the situation. This club. This is full of Academy Kid Gals. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Ugh. S sorry. Not a key. <laughs> Girl, the sour attitude her name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says it quietly in the mirror, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, who's always full of energy. Is Sayori the smartest in the club? <clears throat> Don't say things like that. Here he appears comparatively more mature and timid. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. This, it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. Yeah. It's great to see you again, Justice Dunn. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So everyone should smile at me so gently, and he feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Justice Dunn. We made room for you at the table so you can come sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? <sighs> we will have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been wild so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki probably marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh! Nestle missed the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and a little piece of chocolate were used to make ears. Yum. So cute! Mm -hmm. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki! 
<laughs> well, you know. No, that's wrong. Well, you, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Siri grabs one. Siri grabs. Siri grabs one first, and Malachi follow. Oh, that's the wrong words. Wait, oh, that's wrong. It's delicious. So he talks to waffle and has already managed to get icing in her face. Oh, sorry, you did that wrong. Fresh. I'm trying to cut these around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but her seeing glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Finally bite down. Icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What are you thinking me? It's not like I... <laughs> Have I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori did, said... Well, maybe. But not for you, no, you, you dummy. Alright, alright. Calm down. I give up on Nazi's weird logic in this conversation. He returns to the table carrying a tea set. <laughs> he carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to a cupcake tray. You made a whole- No, wait, it's me. You made a whole tea set in this ap in this classroom? Oh, I said that's Yuki. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, it doesn't a cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess? <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. You know, he's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not. Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri finally smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider- Oh. So what made you consider the literature club? That's- I don't know that's right. Um? I'm afraid of this question. The thing tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any club yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the other major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. There's like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. <sighs> I'd much rather just take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. If he encourages others to the literature, then I'm feeling a dream. Monica, <coughs> Monica really is a great leader. Monica, Monica is a really good... Oh, jeez. Yuri also knows an agreement. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. You could put it that way. Mm. Not many people have any interest in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. I wish it get mixed up. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But make school voice like the festival that much more important. I might just give one of these girls a deeper voice. Oh, you see. Make them Irish. You know, I'm just gonna make Monica Irish. Oh, let me hear. Top of the morning to you. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. But I still don't really know if I can keep up their level of enthusiasm about literature. So just um, what kind of things you like to read? Uh, well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I oh, quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. I do like manga, but I also like lots of books. Mm. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. I'm not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? 
It's probably for the finger after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. She chases the rim of her teacup with her finger. My f my favorite genre usually knows a bit deep and complex fantasy words. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a fun world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. You know, but you know, I always like a lot of things. Stories of deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. It's amazing how ready can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh. Stephen King? Stephen Coons? Who have you been reading? Ah, I read a horror book once. I just read grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. What did I read? This right, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have respected that, Yuri. I don't know how Irish that was. Really? I wouldn't have respected that, Yuri. For someone to enter with you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Sure, horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... I'll see you guys are over to me for a split second. Never mind. Well, that's alright, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Oh, well, why? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. You look like you were working on a bottom card. Don't say, don't say it out loud. And give it back. Fine, fine. Eat your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is as cute as you are. So he settles up in her nuts and puts her hands all on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Oh, I don't know. How to... I'm not cute. Here we go. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wanna like them. Uh, I'm not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing a level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. But do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Also in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Now you're in a... And you're a quizzically a Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Uh, uh, um... Yeah? Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Justice Dunn? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now we're back to the original topic of me joining- Oh, jeez. Me joining the club. I've only came forth with- I'm going Irish. It's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Siri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clips to look at, and, um, this is my train of thought. Oh, they all look sad. All four girls stare at me with dejected eyes. Bye bye. I'm, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> justice done. I, I should just want justice. It's really weird to be calling me with my last name, too. Y you all. I'm defenseless against these girls. I'm supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this. 
That is, if I write a poem to the price, I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sarah wrapped her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. You really just came for the cupcakes? That would be super fast. And that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Just as Donna looks... Oh, jeez. I always said that. Just as Donna looks forward to seeing how you express yourselves. Yeah? Yeah? Irish laughs weird. Yeah. I wish she really impressed the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. I really feel anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. I guess it's since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sarah and I never walk home together anymore. She always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart to that club and make our way home. The whole way, mine wanders back and forth between the four girls Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Damn, the iris keeps on coming out. Perhaps I'll always have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Damn it. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen when whoever likes your poem the most. Yuri likes to read. But, Natsuki likes manga. Ugh. And Natsuki's too young. Try for Yuri. Oh, unrestrained? Yeah. Electricity. Secretive. Brace? Oh, no. Oh, geez. Philosophy. Determination. Agonizing. Uh, journey? Melody. No, oh, geez. Contamination. Melancholy. Uncontrollable. Massacre. Hopeless. Oh, geez. Oh, hopeless? What? Disarray. Wrath. Broken. Oh, what the heck? Image. Incongruent. Okay. Hi again, Justice Don. Mm. Glad to see you didn't run away. I was ha ha ha. Nah, no, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everybody else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Justice Don. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst in literature when you're not accustomed to it. Uh, come on, like you deserves any slack. Sarah told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you suddenly have a big mouth for someone who, no. Someone who keeps her manga collection in the cloud room. Um, um that's kind of so stuck with seeing saying Monica and manga. Manga is manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Ma Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Just as I'm always getting stressed as long as I have fun, he helps me with busy work without me even asking. My cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Okay, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. You almost set your house on fire once. What? That's so <laughs> You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and just stun become good friends too? Oh um. Sayori. Hmm? Uh Who is it? Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation you just put me into. Oh, you're even 
remember I used them today, you know? W wait, sorry. No, what voice I was. And me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sorry, I made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess it means it's up for me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. I think that's just for me as a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into the bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. I can see Monica on that poem thing, huh? It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. But we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. The, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Ha! Ah, give it to me! <laughs> Phew! <sighs> well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So we're in Monica are having a cherry conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Yuan Atsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I just glimpsed the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be in the first few pages. Oh! Crap! Crap. I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. Mm. That only makes her hide her face deep in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. My sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused on I probably would have have noticed in the first place. I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's book that you gave me, right? Mm hmm? I want to reread some of it. Not any particular reason. Just curious, how come you only have two copies of the same book? Huh? Well, when I set the poster yesterday, that's the one I met. I mean, I just had to buy two of them. I see. Something fairly obvious there to hear that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, I might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well, hmm. Here he closes the book and skins her eyes over the back. <laughs> the book is titled Portrait. The, the book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol in the front corner. Alright. Just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. Relatable? While life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and life starts to fall apart. Ooh. That's kind of. That's kind of dark, isn't it? Here made it sound like it was going to be nicer. Is that dark turn came from nowhere? Ah. Uh -huh. You're gently jiggles. Jiggles. <laughs> Giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of this sort of thing, just this time? No, I, I'm a fan of it. No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Hey, I totally forgot Yuri's into those kind of things. What things are you thinking about, Justice? Dark things. She's a slight reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that these, those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look for life from a new, changing perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals with their own philosophy you have to believe in. Suddenly, when you thought you relate to the protagonist, you made to be what to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm I'm rambling on. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well. I guess it's alright then, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. 
I love things like books and writing for my thoughts. I can't forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Please stop if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, oh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You, you don't have to. Aha, uh -huh. what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Um, let me just get the book. I can you see the book that I put into my bag. Wait, right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slipped in your seat next to Yuri's. Uh-huh. Yeah? Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. The book starts the prologue. Soon I understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel a presence over my shoulder as I read. It's more not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but a feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry. I was just... You, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> there, this should work, right? I set my desk until it's up against series and hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri Timmer closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Seems like my left arm is on the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. I'm hold and when holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? Turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Glance over Yuri's face again and our, our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little bit longer. That's probably the least I can do. And since you've been so patient with me. It, yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey. Yuri? This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all the things she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. Like, kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. Oh, I see. You already made silent for a moment. But, just as done. That's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Well, that's embarrassing that you think that. But wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I'm more meant that it's kind of cute. Oh. Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? <sighs> okay, everyone. I don't know how Irish that was. Uh, I think it's about time I shared today's poems with each other. Might not have enough time for way too long. Ah. Uh, you exhale for finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, uh, it's not... It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of the, my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Would you prefer I read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. That'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the rest of your chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. 
Thank you, Mr. Where I left them? Nothing so back in my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My reactivation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I can't really find much inspiration because I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share it with? I can't wait, I can't wait! Two harmonic enthusiasts pull out their poems. Stories on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaves torn from a spiral notebook. On the hand, Monica wrote horizontal come position notebook. I can already see Monica with pristine handwriting from where I sit. I can't see any Yuri reacting to come flies while reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Obviously, Yuri. <laughs> Yuri seems most so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Mm. Yuri reads the poem I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Hey, what was that? Eh? Did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth and then ends up covering her whole face. Uh, oh, it's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? But that's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Uh -huh. Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? You used imagery not to get you with a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yo, he stares at me. He blinked and looks at my poem again. Huh. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yo, shows up unable to find an excuse. She raises her finger along the words of the poem and breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is just how it's out. So if you're writing, that's the usually type of new writers. I haven't been through that myself. I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most memorable thing I reckon in the writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they try to pick up a writing style separate from the topic. And they form to put the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Sherry finds her train of thoughts, it's after three minutes only changes. Her same is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, it's something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques I get when you're writing even a simple poem. I just find them and building them, but giving them the work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes from practice and learning by example and trying new things. Also, I hope that everyone else in this club gives you valuable feedback. I see you're gonna be a bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about you like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if you're just this over me or Tanatsuki. Mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. She smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which I love is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate behind any fiamma glow. Bathing, there must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. Last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present. Living in the past, light flickers. I flicker back. I, I'm sorry I have such a terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah, uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting's pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. You know, it's short, it was really descriptive. Descriptive, huh? Hey, wanna do short? I usually write longer poems. No, I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really, I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. It's time for some shading with writing a little more mild. Swinging to the chest, I suppose. And Are you in a ghost, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, just as it done. Really? I'm, I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did on glance over it, after all. I read that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, experiences in their work. You need to do more than tell us some story or paint a picture. In this case, Breath of Such is from only being symbolic you compared to a ghost. Lingering who last remained in place comfort and unable to let go of the past. Soon to be left with nothing. Whoa, that's a lot more soul in putting it that way. I haven't thought of that. That's impressive. Yeah, it's nothing really. It was impressive too. So, nah. Who think I'd probably learn a thing or two from you? You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. Then I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Justice. Duh. I'm just going to say Justice instead of Justice. Ah. Me too. Let's talk to my best friend, Sayori. Sayori. Eh. This is a good poem, Justice Stan. No. This is a good poem, Justice Stan. Are you sure it's your first time? 
Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who write, would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. That's why it's impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid you wouldn't do it seriously, or they wouldn't write one at all. We really happy just that you wrote one. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just reminds me of how you're really a part of this club now. <laughs> not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Very well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Justice. Deep down, you're not so shit long, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something only really good people do. Thanks, Sori. I'm not sure if Sarah sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can deny she's part of the reason I joined, knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, too, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Sorry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning it makes me feel like you missed me kissing my forehead. To help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me how to come on and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I would, could sleep forever. I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Mm-hmm. Same. Sayori? This is just a guess, but... Do you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little. Just, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me a little feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I'm still trying my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that was a, that was a bad poem. It, it came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. You know you're late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> that was so much fun. I like us the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Huh? <sighs> What's the name? Uh, Monica or Natsuki? I don't know who we clicked. Oh, uh, Monica. Hey, Justice Dunn. Have, uh, hi, Justice. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. Oh, by the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. It's much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Any anyway, I want, want to share the poem with me. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Justice Dunn. We're all a little bit better today, you know. But it starts up a better year that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. Great job, Justice. It's been ooh in my head while I was reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go over something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. <sighs> He's going harsh. Ha ha ha, that's not really fair. I mean, I guess it would work anyways. You know what? You really like this kind of writing, right? Writing is full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sarah, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, you really likes it when you just left to arrive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or writing, letting them deeply analyze all their nuances. It can take years of practice when I assume you're at this point. I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I can feel comfortable doing this. But that's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. 
not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Anyways, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty coward sometimes to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction those spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer out inside for a glue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. Too deep. Searching forever and everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, oh, that's it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of ep epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. That was a uh, more, more Canadian. Let's go a little Canadian then. Uh, I'm kind of nervous to talk about stuff, deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. <laughs> Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. There we go. Anyways, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Time to talk Natsuki. Who should I show my poem to next? Ah, oh, that's a hard one. Nah, nah, that's key. Ah, oh, dang, I guess I have to. Eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Justice, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. What, you expect me to leave it? You actually put effort into this? You think I'm stupid? I'm a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. You all start somewhere, right? If you're so proud of the first one you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Eh. Painful thing about, huh? Eh. Fine. Well, sorry. You get better anyways. I'll tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, each own, I guess. Anyways, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you probably think it's stupid. Okay. This one's uh, short. Kind of fun. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Hmm, pretty deep actually in a way. <sighs> yeah, I told you I weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well... Because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So we don't even take my writing seriously. Isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Or else that would make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. See, everyone you do great things can be really disheartening. I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. The other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more wind that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Yeah, you learned something. You didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I just had a humor with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but Natsuki is feeling proud and I won't take that away from her. Phew. Guess that's everyone. Let's run the room. 
That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's just everyone's judging me from mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. Guess that's what I ended up getting in myself into. Across from Sam and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land Yuri Natsuki. Junior exchange pieces of paper and his corrective poems. As they read in town, I watch each of his questions change. Asuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. You now Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Asuki doesn't have to return the poems to just one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Kill. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be killed? I, I know that. I just meant language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you had to say try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I want to have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Still, you liked it. And Justice did too. So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me? I appreciate the horror, but I spent a little time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Oh, this is getting hard. Which I haven't yet. Yeah. And just as like my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh-uh. You, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just, just, just as appreciate my advice more than you appreciate yours. Uh -huh. And how you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go on my way to make everything do overly cutesy. Y you. Um, is everyone okay? Wait, you know what? I wasn't the only one, I wasn't the one whose boobs managed to grow a size bigger as soon as Justice started showing up. Ooh. <laughs> Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little. Oh, jeez. This doesn't involve you. This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly both girls turn to amuse as they just noticed I was standing there. Justice? She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and I'd appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader and not force them to leap. I have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Justice. Right. You have no reason we have so many deep mixtures of words in our language. No way to convey complex feelings and meanings the most effectively. Writing them is only not only unnecessary learning yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Justice? Um Well Well Uh How do I get dragged this in the first place? It's not like I know any anything about writing. Whenever I agree with the project, think more highly of me. Help me, Sayori. Natsuki? Natsuki's better than drying up any words ahead of my mouth. Let's try to turn to Yuri. Yuri? Eh. But Yuri's been so defense, can't remember myself the same thing to her. Eh, Sayori? Eh? Yeah. Everyone's fine is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep a fight when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Justice? Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. No, wait, no. I agree. It's unfair for this to inject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sari wants to tell Yuri what a stuck up jerk she's being. She would never. Sari maturely makes her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? <laughs> this is gonna hurt my voice. This is exactly why. Exactly nobody likes. Stop! Hmm? Natsuki, Yuri! 
These are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. They're wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Can I see these palms? I mean, because they give you so many thoughts just with the words. Here's one trying to paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Be because? Well. Asa? No. Asa? That's he's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. Here he's moving the same as they always were. <laughs> Big and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just stands very desperately. Well, I said kind of good expression. I'll make some tea. You're <laughs> Let me sit down with blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest. I might come off as a leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I can even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Ah uh ha -huh. ha. Nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means the hour is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious, suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. I sleep. I take good care of you, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. This, that makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica, Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to not. Such a genuine person that really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. When I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How do you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Just a stone. How about you? How about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about for everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something about your friends, too. See the poems will turn out even better. Mm. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kind of poem everyone's like. If any luck, that means I can do at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. And I can impress myself with newfound determination. Justice, uh, Justice, are you welcome? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sarah beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sarah and I have spent this much time together. Can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori? What about, about what happened earlier? Hey, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen a fight like that. Honestly, they are both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. Just want your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. You. You know, Justice, it's nice I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you alone for a moment is what makes me the happiest. I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... Hehe. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. Sigh. <sighs> Those are still hasn't conjured that kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? What am I thinking? We'll just have to see where the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulders. On the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Okay, we'll do this, and then I'm going to save it for next episode. Contamination. Pleasure? In of Gulgent. Assistance? Entropy. Incongruent. Disorientated. Starscape. Imagination. Heaven sent. Unrestrained. Daydream. Philosophy. Melody. Analysis. Marshmallow. <laughs> Tragedy. Um, intellectual. Okay, we'll save it here. Empty slot one. Return. Okay, everybody. 
This has been interesting. This is my first episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. If you, uh, I'm gonna finish the whole game. If you want me to uh, continue doing the voices, comment it, because it's hard to do. Whew. Well, this is goodbye from Justice Dunn, aka Vorpool. Peace out. Uh,